Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to create a to-do list with Livewire version three, which got announced last week at Laracon US. Um, so yeah, let, let's dive into it. Um, the goal is to create a to-do list that uh, you can create new tasks, complete them and delete them afterwards. So let's dive into it. All right, so I have this freshly installed Laravel 10 application right here called To-Do List Live. Um, and first of all, we're going to install uh, Livewire. So if we head over to the documentation um, in here, start here. We can just copy this. Composer require Livewire, Livewire version three beta. Because it's still in the beta, it will be released in a few days, weeks or, or months. There we go. It's installing and that's it. All right, so now, first of all, I'm going to create a model. PHP artisan, make model, and the model is called to do, and I want also a migration with that. Um, and for the ease of the project here, I want to use SQLite, and I can remove all this. Um, and in the database, I need to create um, database.sqlite. There we go. All right, I can close this one. Um, next up, I'm going to create the migration. Well, adjust the migration. I want the table um, a string called task. I like that. There we go. And I want also um, a table uh, enum for the status. And that status can be um, open or done. And by default, so default, we're going to give it open. There we go. So this will create um, yeah, the database for us, the table to do's with tasks in there, with the status and so on. All right. Let's run that migration. PHP artisan migrates. And whoops, I have an error here. It's all fine. X denied. Oh, because I did not save. There we go. There we go. All right, now we have our database up and running in SQLite. We can confirm that by clicking this and it's all in here. It's unreadable for us, of course, but no problems there. All right. Next up, we're going to create our live wire component. So, whoops. PHP artisan uh, make live wire to do list. There we go. All right, that's our first component. This has actually created two things for us in app live wire to do list, the live wire component code, and in resources views the live wire to-do list blade. All right, first up, I'm going to um, actually uh, create a public to-dos, which will be holding all our to-dos. Um, then we have the function mount to grab all the things that are uh, initially required. And we're going to separate this into an another function, fetch uh, to-dos. There we go. And in this function, fetch, uh, sorry, function, fetch to do's. There we go. Um, we're going to set this to do's to, um, uh, I first need to import it. So use app models to do. All right, to to do all, and I want them reversed. There we go. And this will render and so on. All right, so next one, I want a function add to do. And this will, well, I need also a task here. So public task, this will be set to an empty string. There we go. Um, and I first want to check if uh, the this 
task is not that empty string, then I want to create a new to do. So to do equals to um, to do, well, actually new, new to do. And this to do has the task, which is this task. There we go. And then we save that to do. Like that. And for the cleanness, I want to uh, set my task to that empty string again. All right. So that's it for adding to do's and we're going to head over to the model, uh, sorry, the live wire blade file here, here. Um, and we're going to create, um, an input, which is wire model task. And I want to wire, um, key down enter. And I want to add to do to be ran. All right, cool. And I'm going to add a, a clause here of um, flex uh, justify center. And I want this to be in a div. Oh, yeah, and I'm just going to add a placeholder as well. Otherwise, I'm afraid we won't be able to see it at to do. There we go. Um, next up, I want uh, the well, the to do's that are in our database. So at for else. Yeah, like that to do's as a to do. Um, and I want um, well, for now, I want just the to do to be displayed to do. And if I don't have anything in here, I want no to do's here. Like that. So if I head over to the code, indeed, and in the welcome the blade, I want to delete all this here, like that. And I want add live wire um, to do list. All right, I'm going to blow this up a bit. Cool, nothing to do here. So I want to add a test, hit enter, and it's gone. But if I refresh, I have that model in there. All right, cool. Um, we need to clean up a little bit, right? So um, first of all, I needed to do a refresh. So that's not what I want. So after we set the task back to an empty string, I want this to be uh, fetching all those um, to do's again. So fetch to do's like that. And in here, instead of this, I want this to be um, only the task like that. And well, we're going to put this in a div as well. And I want this to be in a label like so. There we go. Refresh. All right, so tests, uh, another test and another test. All right, you get the point, right? I can add to do's to my list. Cool. Um, I'm quickly going to uh, PHP artisan migrate fresh here to have everything cleaned up again. All right, so next up, I want um, an input of checkbox, like so. Um, and I'm going to give it an ID of um, mark as done, like so. Um, whoops, I'm And I want the wire to be change and mark as done. Um, and I'm going to take in a parameter here. Um, and I want to chain to do ID 
because I want this to do to be marked as done whenever this is ran. So let's go over and make that function. So function mark as done and this accepts a to do of to do like so and I want to do to be um, status equal to done like so and then go ahead and save it save all right cool um, to be able to see this I want to um, yeah the four is also mark as done so I can click the text and in here I want the style I could also do this with um, something in Livewire, but I'm going to go for the style uh, text decoration to be um, line through. All right, um, but I want this to be whenever the to do status is equal to uh, done. like this all right and let's head over and copy this in here and i want to close this off right there all right cool so test and if i click this nothing happens right if i refresh it's the line true and we're done that's because I didn't um, refetch all the tasks whenever I uh, set one to, uh, to marked as done. So this fetch to do's again. All right, fetch to do's. Um, and I also want if, so add if the to do status equals to done, well, equals to uh, open. And if right all right let's uh, migrate fresh there we go feed the dog all right great um, walk the dog feed the cat all right I feed the cat I feed the dog whoops and here is something wrong uh, okay, it's normal. It's normal because they all have the same ID. So I want this to be like this. And mark is done of this. There we go. Um, let's actually migrate fresh again. There we go. Walk the dog. Feed the dog. Feed the cat. And if I click feed the cat and then I feed walk the dog. All right, now it's working properly. But the list can be, well, you can see this is, yeah, this could be quite long with all the done tasks, right? So I also want um, the opposite here. Um, I want to be able to delete one of the tasks. So whenever a task is done, um, I want uh, a button. I'm going to go for a button. A button, um, and I'm going to pull out an SVG here, which is fetched from uh, Hero Icons. You can find that on the internet, of course. And I want a wire click um, to be remove. And also, this one will take in a parameter here um, to do. ID. All right, let's create that function. Function uh, remove to do to do, and I want to do delete like that. Refresh, and now I have delete buttons whenever I have um, yeah, an, uh, a marked as done task. All right, so. 
All right, great. That works. All right, awesome, that works. So let's do a quick recap. So we created this uh, component to-do list. We have mounted um, the first function to only run once whenever the component uh, boots. Um, we call all the, the we call the fetch to do function which actually grabs all the to do's in the database in a reverse order we are have having the functionality to add to do's and to mark them as done and whenever one is marked as done we are able to delete it as well um, the yeah html in the blade the component blade file here is quite easy as well um, all right, so that's it for this video. We created our own to-do list in Livewire version three. Um, it's very easy to create tasks, mark them as done and delete them afterwards. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care, bye-bye.